going to solve maximum product sub n. So we have given a product like this. So we have given an array like this, and we need to find the maximum product of a sub array of a sub array in this in this array. So there is many approach. Like this is a sub array. The first approach is we can solve it in O of n square. How? This is a sub array, so we need from zero to n element and from this is for the i loop this is for the day loop where it will go from i to n and this will take n square so this is the first approach that we can use to nested full loop and we can find the maximum product of the array but the <laughs> Better approach is we can solve it in O of n, where we just need to traverse the array k times, where k can be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is, k is a constant number, or we can say if big O of n of k n, it will be equal to O of n. So, we will do this in O of n. So let's see the approach how will we solve this. Here in this question we have given this array. The maximum product of this array is in this. Here from this point to this point we can get the maximum product. Max product sub array. Because after this there is a zero. If we multiply this with max product we will get zero. So this this will give us a uh, not give us the maximum product of the sub array. And here for this part, uh, the product of these elements are smaller than this. Now, let's say instead of 0, there are some values like let's say this is 4, this is 3. Now, the maximum product of this uh, array, the maximum product where is from here 3 to, to this to the, uh, the element 5. So we product these elements, we can get the max product sub array of whole array. So we can see it can either be this from if we check from the start. From this two element, element this two till the nine, it can be the max product, or from this three, from this three to the last element, the max element can be this. The so full max element, if we start from starting, it can be max from starting. Sub arrays, starting sub arrays, or, or it can be the ending sub arrays. This means, this means if we start from starting from the start point that is 0 till the all the elements, we can get the max product, or we can start from last that is ending, we can get the max sub array product and this sub array should be continuous so there are two possibilities first thing, it can be the answer starting sub array starting part or second it can be the ending sub array ending sub array in these two in these two the maximum Product will be the answer. Maximum product will be the answer. Now, how will we solve this? So we have the array, and the sub array will be the part of the array. If uh, we are not assuming that the starting sub array will be the answer or ending sub array will be the answer. If this is false, this means the 
answer can be in between the array the part of the part of the array the sub array where there is a first part let's say this is a and the second part which is from after the answer part so let's say this is b now here a can be positive or negative b can be positive or negative so this means there are possibilities like possibilities like we have answer this is a this is answer this is b the first part is positive second part is also positive this is the first case other cases a answer and b the a is negative b is positive b is positive the next part is a uh, next next point is this this is the answer a and b there may be possibility that a is positive and b is negative and the last one is a answer b a is negative and b is also negative so these are the cases of getting the answer now this answer can also have choice of it can be positive or it can be negative negative by negative let's say we have a array we have the array of array of only one size having minus 100 so the answer is minus 100 this means our answer can be negative also now let's see two possibilities are if the answer is negative if the answer is negative so either the first part is the maximum or the second part is the maximum because this is in already in negative and both the first and second part is positive so our our, our answer will be the max of a that is starting part or b that is ending the very part now if the answer is in positive if the answer is in positive this means this is positive so if we product all these three positive values we can get the maximum product let's say we have array 1 2 3 4 and 5 so the max, maximum continuous sub array max product will be uh, the product of these all, all the elements that is 120 so this means if the answer is also positive and first part second part is also positive the answer will be a into answer to b now here if the answer is negative if this is negative so this negative and this negative they product them we will get the positive value and here if you product it with a positive value we can get the positive value that is maximum value this means we can get the max product by a cross answer cross b and what if it is positive if answer is also positive this means a part is only the negative value so we product the two two values which is answer and b these all are uh, these both are positive so we will get a positive value which will be the maximum product so if the answer in this case is positive then the answer will be answer into b that is only the left part uh, only the ending part let's see here if if the answer is negative the answer is negative again we can multiply answer and b with a we get the max product this means a into answer into b and if the answer is positive this means we just need to product these two values these are on uh, these are all are positive so we will get the max product by pro multiplying a into answer so this time answer will be a into answer and here we can see the starting sub is the answer 
the starting subarray is the answer. Here was the ending subarray, product of ending subarray is the answer. In this case, all the subarray is the answer if all the, uh, all the values are positive. Now here, if the value is negative, this means answer here, either these two products are maximum or these two products are maximum. That means we need a continuous subarray. So for continuous subarray, this can be the max product or this can be. Let's say we have A as minus 10, B as minus 20 and C and uh, answer is minus 20 and B is of minus 10 or minus 5. So here the max product will be minus 10 into 20 that is 200. And where if we see this answer into B, which is 100, so max product is 200. So this means in this case, we need to find the max of A cross answer or B cross answer. What if the value is positive? If the value is positive, this means we can multiply all the elements negative multiply with positive multiply with negative which will give the positive answer which will the max product so in this case the answer will be a into answer into b so these are the cases where we have seen if we traverse from the starting index in this case if we tra traverse from the starting index that is first array we can get the answer as in the first array in this case, we can get the answer in this uh, ending subarray, and we can also get the answer in the uh, multiplying all the elements of the array. But there is a case. There is a case that we have array, continuous array, and there is at some point the element is zero. So this means till here, till here, these two values will show the answer as the max product. But after this zero count, after this zero count, the product will be zero. So we need to start the answer from the next position of this zero. So answer will start from here, and the maximum product. This will be the first part. Will be the second part. So the answer will be updated by max into answer by product, where this product is producting, uh, is multiplying all the elements one by one these are the element of the array and same for the uh, ending subarrays we need to traverse from from ending also so let's say this is zero we are traversing from here and at some point we get the product that is zero this means we need to start from the next point so these are the cases we will use only one for loop two times we will, which will take of n complexity now let's code this so now what we need is answers starting from a new value let's say it is 10 raised to the power 9 in negative this is 9. Now we need a product. Let me full screen it. Now we need a product. Start from 1. Here we will iterate for the starting index, uh, starting subarray. It will go till array dot size i plus plus. Each time we will see the product of all the continuous elements. And we will check the answer the max of answer comma the product. There was a case when the product is equal to is equal to z. This means we need to start our product from one for the next element for the multiplication of next element. And here this point update the update the answer. Now 
for the end product for the uh, ending survey we need to start from the from the last element that is a dot size minus one i is greater than equal to zero i minus minus here in this case again product all the elements from the ending point of the array and again update the answer by max of answer comma product and this is also updating updating the answer if there is a answer which is maximum if we traverse from the back side of the array now there is a case again if the product is equal to zero we will start our product from one for the next element for returning the value we have the answer which will which is saving the maximum product of the subarray in the array so this is the simple code let's run this so it is accepting let's submit this so our test case is our code is submitted hope you understand the code of understand the concept we'll see you in the next video Thank you.